Latin movement Pegida gathered to vent their anger over mass sex assaults on women during the city's New Year's Eve celebrations. Earlier, the German leader, Angela Merkel, said she would back new stricter laws on asylum seekers. Sky's Europe correspondent Mark Stone is live for us in Cologne. Mark, tell us more. Good evening, Andrew. From a cold Cologne, we saw today uh, movements on both sides of the spectrum. They were here uh, following what happened on New Year's Eve with the sex assaults uh, to protest, but their movements tell a much broader story about a polarization of views over the migrant crisis and its implications. The first to gather from mid-morning outside Cologne's main station were not from the Pegida movement, who so bitterly oppose Islam in Europe, but from the opposite end of the spectrum. A coalition of liberal groups calling broadly for tolerance at a tense time. There was a heavy police presence ahead of the Pegida arrival. With clashes and expectation, the two groups were separated by a line of vans. This is Deutschland, not Afghanistan! Pegida's demonstration began with an hour of speeches. Of this beautiful city! Including from Tommy Robinson, the founder of the English Defence League, the EDL. This is what men must do. It's what we do. The message from the core of the movement here is this. The sexual assaults here on New Year's Eve have given this anti-refugee cause new momentum. But police figures show that of the 31 people arrested following the attacks on New Year's Eve, only five were from Syria and Iraq, countries where people could be called refugees. Still, there were many hundreds of assaults, and the attacks have caused outrage across the country. Angela Merkel says she wants to tighten laws. If it comes to criminal activity and if people act outside the law, naturally there must be consequences on their status of asylum and their applications. Specifically, that means that the right of residence in Germany and the right of asylum can be withdrawn if someone is sentenced, no matter if on probation or imprisonment. Back at the Pegida gathering, the speeches ended and a march through Cologne began. The arrival of more than a million migrants and refugees in Germany over the past year is testing tolerance to the limit now. But what's clear is that within this movement, there are still a range of views, some extreme, but many more considered too. More than one million uh, immigrants, immigrants which are not registered, they are making in, in future a big problem. Much more, many more problems that we have till now. Seehofer uh, told that 200,000 per year w would be enough. So I think uh, the number should be lower than 200,000 per year. One million is enough. One million is enough. Yes, enough. And Britain takes 5,000. They are more than one million. They don't tell us, as they always do. They only give you yes. a little piece and then you tell you more and more. And in the end, you are just surprised what has happened. But the, the, the sentiment here that we have yes. been hearing for, from the speeches is yes. that all Muslims are bad, all Islam is bad. Wrong, of course. Did you hear that? Yeah, there was a speaker saying that, that Islam promotes rape. Um, I would never talk like that. Well, the police are doing what they can to funnel this movement in a certain direction, ensure that their march goes away from the opposition protesters who for now remain outside the station. There were clashes with police, but nothing major. <laughs> Back at the station, the Liberal movement began their march in the opposite direction. The migrant crisis and its implications are causing a polarisation of views here and in countries across Europe. Mark, you mentioned countries across Europe. We know that we've had comments from police officials in Finland and Austria and other parts of Germany as well. Do you think today's events may have given some momentum, some traction to groups like Pegida? Undoubtedly they will. Pegida was only, a formed, only formed a couple of years ago and it has a large number of followers. What I was struck by today is that, yes, uh, you did see at the front of that march there and, and represented by the views of people like Tommy Roberts, Robinson, uh, some 
very extreme views, some of what he was saying uh, that you heard in my report there uh, and that I referenced to uh, in that question in my report. Uh, he was uh, clearly trying to incite hatred. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But you step back and you talk to others within the movement. There are much more tolerant views within that uh, much broader movement. And I think that's something that the German government uh, is, is clearly listening to. They have to listen to it because it's a broad reflection of what many people in Germany uh, are thinking, are worried about. Uh, what we saw today was, was extreme views on either side, I suppose you could say. But it is an extreme form of a debate, an intelligent debate that's going on around Europe about how to deal uh, with the influx of, of migrants, of which there are a proportion who are refugees, and how to deal with the assimilation of those migrants into Europe. It's a, it's a debate that's going on well beyond Cologne, but we've seen it come to, to, come to the fore uh, in Cologne over the past few days. Mark, thanks very much indeed. Mark Stone there in Cologne for us. The survivors